Hello, ev hello everyone, and welcome back to Schmidler Plays Prey, Part Three. Um, last time we ent we finished up everything in over in the Neuromod Division, and w finished up seeing what we could do in the lobby, and but and then we started on the hardware labs. Now to the and this part we're going to go to the Talos One exterior to get Cal to get Lorenzo Calvino's key card, who currently is in a part of the hardware labs that exploded into space. So now to the exterior of the space station we go, and into space. This game has great physics. Um, You're in micrograv- Uh, you cannot come out here unless you get the Apex propulsion system. So you can't come out here without that jetpack. Basically. Use, um, if you're playing on PC like I am, you use Wasad to move. Or, you know, the control stick, blah blah blah. You'll know the preference. But anyway, advice. I keep forgetting about this, but each one of these airlocks has a supply crate. Loot it. Ooh, the random junk fr Now, you wanna go Lorenzo doc Dr. Lorenzo Calvino's there. You'll see a bunch of green dots here that represent oxygen refill station. If you're playing with the survival uh, traumas on, you'll wanna remember where that is. You'll also wanna remember to keep your to actually keep your suit repaired. Cause if the suit gets less, if the armor of your, if your suit's integrity gets less than 70, your suit will begin to leak oxygen. So right now, since it's above that number, it's not leaking oxygen, I have infinite oxygen. You'll notice there are also dots representing human corpses. I will be going after these co after them because they have good items. Once you find a corpse, the icon will appear as human corpse found. Hello. EMP charges! I never used them! Shadow Bay. Oh yeah. Once you're done with the hardware labs, you'll get a key card ca called uh, gen the General Access Key Card, and it will give you access to Psychotronics and the uh, Shadow Bay. I recommend uh, Shadow Bay, even though you can immediately enter Shadow Bay. I would not recommend it. There's a technopath in there, and actually, there uh, there is a side quest here. Uh, you can fix the breach over here, and then you unlock uh, an extra room. A great extra room. And actually, while this is open, I think I'll just take these. EMP charges, I never use them any, otherwise, repair, and now I get access to the beams, beams and waves, Lorenzo Calvino, you found him, not surprising, well done. This is Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I, not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, are you... Uh, Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. 
Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. I, uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. Rio, uh, this is, um... This is Dr. Calvino. Another way to get into Ah, well, I suppose you've turned in, uh, or you're ignoring me. I, I just want to... Well, I, I will be a little late for my shift tomorrow, but um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro-lens array. You see, the, the old one is it's garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. Um, where am I going? Oh, right there. Funny how uh, how much they actually make references. I feel like some of the things in this. Uh, Bioshock. This reminds me so much of Bioshock in so many ways. Uh, Bioshock is another. I'm pretty sure most people in this know what Bioshock is. Great game series. Great game series. Infinite. Bioshock Infinite. The control scheme for that game is perfect. But I really don't like how linear it is compared to the first two. I hope Bioshock 4, which is on its way, is uh, has the more exploring feel of the first two games, but has the control scheme of the of Infinite. That's all I hope. Bioshock is a great series. If you haven't heard of it or seen it, you should definitely look it up. Great series. Actually, if we didn't have Bioshock, we wouldn't have this game. Because Bioshock is the pioneer the genre of game that Prey is. Or it just made it skyrocket. The real one that pioneered this genre would be uh, System Shock. Which I have not played. But it looks interesting, so I definitely do plan to play it. Now, to waves and beams! Even though it's the side of just Where? Where? That noise. What saw me? Something saw me. Hmm. Must be upstairs. Yes. Oh my god! Uh. You are dead! Not big surprise! That's it. I'm pretty sure everyone that uh, is here should know what I'm referencing with that line. If not, that's just sad. But to beam in waves! Yes, it is open. Q beam! Now, do not unlock this door. There's a phantom in there. Fire the Q beam and watch what happens. Phantom goes bye-bye. Now open the door. And with that, you get a new weapon. Q-Beam. Fires a concentrated beam of unstable particles that will eventually cause an enemy to explode. Yes. This will cause enemies to explode. Now let's see. There's a. I found the glitch. There's a. Fa hey, Lane Carpenter. If Lane comes to this glass, I can actually punch her. What? Ah! Wanna grab all this? And remember that email I said back in, I think, part one? Here's the other half. 
Here's the rest of that email conversation. Lane, I'll speak with Josh soon. Tom Tucker, Human Resources. From Lane Carpenter to Tom Tucker. And then the next, e or that's this first email. Then forwarding. Tom, see what I have to deal with? This needs to stop, Lane Carpenter. Josh Dalton to Lane Carpenter. Enjoy your time at the top while it lasts because it won't last, won't be long. Funny, I, Lane Carpenter is actually an a-hole if you listen to what he does. Where'd he go? This goes into the recycler room downstairs. You'll want in there. There's some really good sh um, stuff. I almost cursed again. Mr. Dalton, please to Dot. How does this blah, blah, blah. He's mandatory. My design was stolen. Someone else got the credit. It's fraudulent. I need re restitution. Yeah, Lane got what Lane's about to get what's coming to him Because I'm going once I get the key card uh, Josh Dalt um, Josh Dalton is inside of what's called the guts. Oh my god uh, Where'd you go? Uh, where'd you go? Yeah, like that. Like a boss. Do, do, manually doing my inventory. Because I need to remember to get rid of these. Reload. Now to quickly do a one round of recycling and then to Calvino's workshop. Why is my game oh my god. The random lag spikes. Please game, stop lagging. That's actually bothering me. Ooh, I got, I just noticed how many Neuromods I have. Now, let's use them. Um, do I want this, this? Actually, wait. Yes, med pack, the physician. And actually to repair you first. You need to rip <laughs> And that means I get more of that. Do, 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 do. What was I doing? Oh yeah, Calvino. Now you don't want to rush through. Calvino's workshop because you can actually get two neuromods out of this room But you have to Have patience Oh, yeah first Good reason for having leverage one you can move these crates And get a med kit Now you'll notice the aliens outside your window. These are called cystoids, and that is a cystoid nest. 
Uh, the way is, their assistoids are sort of like a cluster. Uh, you can destroy the entire cluster by destroying the first one. Uh, one of the rest, uh, how do you say it? It's a giant group, and one, and all but one follow that single one. So one is the leader, and the rest follow it. You just need to figure out which one's the leader. Turn on the looking glass. And this is where you want to repair the looking glass servers. Oh yeah. I can't show you that until... Uh, you want to do run diagnostics and figure out which server it is. You want to remember the server number. 1112. That's this one. This one changes every time. So don't remember my number. It may not be the same for you. Nice work, Morgan. The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. You'll want to remember that. Do not throw that away or recycle it. You'll want to remember that. Uh, first, you'll want to watch both of these videos. Because they help build the story. Story building. It's running? Light-filled capture looks a little hot. Where's the photometer? The handheld? D did you take it? No. Ah, yesterday we had two, now I can't find one. We've only ever had one. Nonsense. I guess you forgot. It's funny. Uh, if you watch the second, vi the second video is longer, but it has more information about the relationship between these two. You're leaving? Uh, I thought we were done. No, just... just turn it off then. I feel like you're upset with me. No, I, uh... I suppose it's, it's late after all. Uh, go, go, uh, sleep. What about you? What about me? Yeah, don't concern yourself. I'll finish. Right. I guess I'll see you later then. Yeah, you guess. What? You're always saying, I guess. That worked, I guess. I'll see you later, I guess. You're a scientist. Stop guessing. No! Or be quiet. Yeah, that's all. Good night, Dr. Calvino. <sighs> I forget what country uh, Dr. Calvino is supposed to be from. I think one thing that this game does really well at to me was giving every character sort of unique, even if they have like minimal screen time. Like you don't see any repeated characters. Every single human aboard this ship looks unique and different. And that's like, you know, several hundred character models. Now that Tumblr's the one I found on the floor over there. This video shows you how to get access to his secret stash. So, you want to take the tumbler right over here and walk it over to the weight thing right here. And that opens that. Gives you two Neuromods and Lorenzo Calvino's cabin key card, which is over... His cabin's over in the crew quarters. More garbage and emails. Custom travel mug, that's that tumbler. I don't have much to say right now, I'm sorry kind of just trying to play a bit and enjoy myself but yeah I am still here um yeah and I don't have to go around anymore here I did off I did some stuff off screen like finding the rest of the garbage I could get here and if I'm right I've been to basically every room of this place and it would seem that I have. Yes, I have. 
so I am done here. Do not, I do not like to set that off. The noise that makes is annoying. Actually, what? Oh wait, there's a, I didn't see you. Hello. That was easy. I wish I had the button. Hello, good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Where the hell are you? Oh, I cursed. Oops. But seriously, where are you? Medic! I'll be right back. I think I'll make one Nero mod while I'm here. And recycle this everything I have. Or wait, no. I don't need to. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm a major blue. Hello, nice to see you. Oh, that's where you work. Ah, Paul, get out of my way, medic. I'm going to end up making so. While sneaking enemies take longer noticing you, you would do. Sneak attacks do significantly more damage. There is some way. Skills. Actually, interestingly enough, there is an achievement for uh, beating the game without installing a single Neuromod. I play this game by installing only the human-based Neuro mods. I've never actually used. Oh, the, I forgot. Uh, after expense, they can uh, do this illusion trick and split themselves into two. One in other space, the other one's real. And also, they uh, explode. They do that on the floor. That is. Uh, I guess that's what causes ether damage because if this is called ether phantom, they deal ether da based damage. And now loot them. And keep the shotgun out. You're going to have one more new enemy coming up on you real soon. A new mimic. I swear. Where is it? Hello. The greater mimic. It's basically a normal mimic with slightly stronger. And instead of taking one hit with a shotgun, they take two. And also, now that I'm here, I can recycle what I have. And while I'm doing this, I'll improve the power of my of my cube. Yay! I get to I get to make a joke from my stream because it's hilarious. Uh, I, if you've seen, I posted a live stream, uh, a Twitch live stream clip that a friend of mine made from my Twitch stream from like, uh, about a, from like three months ago, like the day right after my birthday. And, uh, in the clip, it's uh, me being an idiot and forgetting that I had the Q-beam and I died. So when I respawned, I'm like, oh yeah, I had the Q-beam, I'm an idiot. I improved its power and bring it on I'm like, oh, hey, hey, little buddies, I've got a big, come on out, I got a big laser gun for you. I and I posted it on YouTube because I thought it was the funniest thing I've ever said in my life on camera. I've actually never had a voice clip on camera that I act of myself that I actually enjoyed listening to until that clip came out. I just was being stupid when I did that, but it's hilarious. You're not gonna like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos One. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive, including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry, I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. And 
And now we get to see something. As you can see. January's here! Hello, Morgan. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos-1, but none of them are like me. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. The second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos-1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key, but you hit a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. The main lift is the fastest way to reach deep storage. Oh yeah, if it works, there are general access. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. Now I have three neuromods. He does have a few arguments. Simmons say. installed blank neuromods on you. That's why you could remember the previous day's test and escape. Your office is relatively secure. Come back if you need to rest or use the fabricator. Every neuromod takes a snapshot of your brain and models what it would look like if you learned something new. Then it makes those changes. Billions of connections remapped in a matter of minutes. All made possible by our friends from outer space. You instructed me to sabotage the test procedures if Alex ever failed to release you, or if the Typhon organisms escaped containment. Both happened. Yep, and with that done, I'm going to use the three neuromods to install something. This is the point where I uh, don't fully know what I'll do with them. Um, sneak attack actually would come in handy. Or I could do one of these three. I'll get this... Um. I'm not going to do this yet because I don't want to bore you with this revisiting areas we've already been to. I'll do all that off screen. So I'm not going to buy that yet. I could get this though. Now it would be helpful. And I feel like I should. Or should I get... Let me see. Sorry, this may take like a minute. I think I'll go with sneak attack. Or no, that's wrench. Wrong thing. Um, actually, wrench attacks. What? No, I'm going to go with toughness, actually. Which is... If you apply one of those when you're damaged, it will instantly heal you all the way to the max. Which in itself is awesome. Uh, how many... How many things do I have? Holy shit. Uh, oops. Now that's a real curse. Excuse me. I don't remember how long I've been playing. I think I'll create some neuro mods with this, because I have a lot. Material. I think I'll get movement speed. So that I can move a lot quicker. Yes, I'm going to go with my movement speed. Mobility! I move much faster! And then next I'll get stamina improvement. Now, like he said, you want to go for the main lift. Oh my god, no! Not my turret! You bastard! Now oh, where'd you go? No, the turrets! You shit! Fast. Where'd your corpse go? 
How'd your corpse get all the way over here? Nope. Where'd your corpse go? Ah, where actually? Oh. I'm gonna repair you because I need you. And I'm gonna also repair you. Or no. Oh my god, you're fine! You're fine to a point where I can't actually repair you. I need to scan. The main lift is right here, as you saw earlier. You could do this sooner, but it's kind of pointless. The elevator stuck up on the main floor. Wait, something's wrong. I'm talking to the lift control system. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request, and something is preventing the car from descending. It's stuck at the top, in the Arboretum. I'll see if I can find another way up. Got it. Got it. There's a route through the Psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Be careful. And with the- oh yeah, you can now access this too with hack you. If I can do it. You do not want to fail. If you fail this to is hack a system. Chief who the hell shut down the elevators and airlock? Yeah, quickly do this. Necropsy action. Actually, the first neuro mod you want to do with four, I recommend you do this, especially for dealing with what's at up keeping the elevator stuck you want to get firearm this will improve your weapon um all damage of your weapons of your security weapons so that's referring to the handgun and the shotgun's attack power improves so now they have better firepower answer me my team's locked down tight here we need those lifts working sam it can't be a power loss can it i don't think so chief the main lift and all the airlocks shut down at once Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is December. My purpose was to help you escape Talos 1. I know your memory shot full of holes, but you left instructions that the Typhon should break containment. Alex has a private escape pod. You made a copy of his launch key and hid it in the Neuromod division, along with a supply cache. I'll transmit the location to your map. I'll contact you again when you've got the key. Yes, that is what, uh, if you remember, for any of you that watched part one of my Let's Play, I was in a specific room and I said, remember this spot for later. You'll want to remember that. That spot is where the cache is hidden. The cache that December was talking about. And actually, oh yeah, this is where I made my line from my, uh, play from my live stream was right here i died here trying to get to that cache but even at the end when i still use the laser gun i still missed so that makes me stupid i fired and i missed i love that game grums that game grums conversation funny moments so much Mimic, actually wait. Hey Mimics, I got a light, I got a giant, I got a little friend to play, for you to play with. Why don't you come out and say hello? Ah! You explode. Where's your corpse? Give me your bullets. That is one you want to improve the power of. Have I been? Oh yeah, I have been here. Mimics! Yo! Hello! Hey! Uh, you want to reload? Done. 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 Da, da, da. Actually, I want to watch him explode. Boop. 
Oh, six. Reload. Oh, yeah. Corrupted operator. Oh, yeah, that's what I can use for the ESPs again. Those things. The Technopath also has a weakness against those. For some reason. I have enough... Shield integrity damage first. I want to uh, recoil and crew. Then this goes to. Actually, um, no, I want to improve the firing time on that. Vital signs. Yes, I'm aware. So now I use you. And nom 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 nom. And also use you. Anti rads, you want to keep that. That's the only trauma in this game that exists if you keep the survival options off. Is the survival trauma. I have to say. Oh yeah, I mentioned this. I guess I'll mention it now. One of the items that gets added when you have the traumas survival option on is a item called brain pills. And I'm not joking. It's spelled B-R-A-I-N-E-D. Brain pills. And it's meant to deal with, uh, you can get concussion. You can get a concussion. And it's meant to deal with the concussion. But I'm sorry that this sounds incredible. Incredibly stupid. They could have just called it concussion, anti-concussion pills or something simpler. Cause brained pills just sounds like, like something an idiot would literally say. It's like, oh, I need to take my daily dose of brain pills. It actually sounds like it's something meant to make you smarter, not deal with a concussion. Hello. Uh, where'd you go? Done. Done. Up here. Note. Sorry, Morgan. Not sure how you managed this, but I can't let you have this key card. Trust me, you'd regret it. Alex. That's unfortunate. Thank you for the stuff to battle. Your office is it safe? Grant you resistance to thing. It's safe. I'm going. Okay, next time. Yeah, you'll want to meet Jen December. You'll meet in there. Where am I going? Why do I keep blocking in the thing? I got a lot of things. Reload you. I really hope they give this a like uh, remaster treatment for next gen because it deserves it. That and there are a bunch of textures in this game I would want them to finish. As I said, the helicopter textures are f effing horrible. Hello! Morgan, that operator was an earlier defective model. Or something worse. Uh, ow. Alex, the Typhon, they're all working against you. Trust yourself. Trust the baby. We need to get the arming keys and destroy Talos 1 before it's too late. Ow! Phantom up on the top floor is shooting at me. Not making my life easy. 
Uh, loot you real quick. You might need this. That is to Alex's safe in the, uh, arboretum. Did you find something interesting? Yes, I did. Uh, get out of here, January. But first, to deal with friend friend over there. Hello, buddy! Uh, there's a new enemy, there should be a new enemy over in... You're dead now. Another upgrade kit, I'll use you. To improve you. Uh, range. Oh yeah, hello. El Voltaic Phantom does electric face attacks and can actually turn stuff off. Ow, ow. I didn't know it can electrify mimics. Okay. When I get back, going to go back to office now. Actually, first, I want to hear what January has to say. As a the Tyson have already demonstrated an ability to distort technology, including operator programming. I understand if you feel uncertain. I'll do everything in my power to help you and keep you safe. Uh, keep you safe until Head you to have deep to storage. the station. The more you see of Talos One, the more you'll understand why you made the decision to destroy everything, if it's not obvious already. Get to deep storage, Morgan. You need your arming key. I'll contact you again later. Do do do. I'm gonna make a quick stop by the office. Oh my god, I'm tired. Quick stop by the office. To do things. And then begin on psychotronics. Yo, that junk already launched from space. I don't know why it keeps re-showing that. Don, 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 don. Do, do, do. Lag spike. Really awkward. Now make four bullets. I have all the stuff necessary to make a lot of bullets. Making a lot of bullets. That's done with. Perfect. Reload. Now to enter psychotronics. Oh, I did not fin I missed a room of stuff. I apparently missed stuff in here. I totally forgot this room was here. Yes, I forgot about here. Apparently not. I apparently just forgot that one... Th that just... I forgot this glass was here. I forget the recyclers here. I discovered that like two playthroughs ago and I never noticed that. And I played this game through like seven times. Or I started the game like several times. There's a monster in the stairwell. It's an etheric phantom if I'm remembering. Yes it is. 
I am st surrounded by etheric. I can't move. It's gone now. I can loot the corpse. And I can loot this body. Wait, there's the... Oh, yeah, there's the room right behind the screen. I won't bother you with that. I'll do that off... I'll do that off screen on my own time. Now to Psychotronics. This is where everything... This is where the scent... This is basically the real heart of the station where everything, the whole story of this game basically began here in Psychotronics. Alex is about to call. Oh my god! I almost walked out of Psychotronics is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? Elazar? The Kaler? I can eavesdrop on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. Fast as possible. I got it. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Gut. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. Thank you. There's a security, uh, yes, and I'll show, where'd you go? I just saw you. What? I hear you. Where's an item that doesn't look like it? Clickety clacky noise. Oh yeah, this is an example of one of the only, of the only thing that the Bolt Huntress is for. It's a uh, wrong item, this. Uh, Z allows you to zoom in this for something else. You want to unlock the security booth. Right there. That allows you in here. There's no other way into this room. And the area map. You'll always want to grab the area map. Another place to get through. Grab every anything that shines like that, grab it. Unless it's these books. Ooh, and turrets. Good to recycle. I'll be taking one of you and I'll place this at the entrance to the bathroom. The man's. Why is it always the woman's that I have to go in? And there's a phantom right here. Alright. It doesn't even get a chance to attack me. Now you want to grab the other one and carry this. There's a. You want to go through the. There are two, and you can exit the bathroom on the other side. Um, unless there are items here, there not appear to be none. Besides another book, which you can pause and read, but I'm not going to read through. Yes. Um, you try and go through this door. It will say. Psychoscope required beyond this point. Psychoscope is the next required item, and you want and the uh, psychoscope is down here. I don't remember which items are the mimic mimics or not. So I'm always skip. I didn't even use you yet. 
you want to put it right back here and deploy. Eradicator auto-turret version 0.7.6. And you want to go to the back. And do that. What? And you see this guy has a very interesting item on him. Which I'll grab last. But now. This is the psychoscope. It's attached to the Z button. Now you can use these. Yes, and yes. The Psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos 1. Use the type in organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. Deploying. Never noticed that. What ship did I get from that? Wrench critical. Well, crap. Oh, yes. You want that? And then you want to get this. And now you got research. Research every enemy when possible. You can only research living enemies. You can't research dead ones. If you try and research a uh, dead one, it will say... That you need living scanning specimen required for scanning. And then you get access to all the Typhon Neuro mods, which I will not be using. You can use them if you want, I just choose not to. I forgot about this. This is real. Yeah. This toilet's now covered in two in that thing's tumors. Wait, I have a I didn't see that I had this. I'll use it on something. I'll use it on this to give me better range. That way I can pick up the tumor. And now that I have the psychoscope. Wait, I still got You don't even get to whack me. Thanks for the typhon lure, buddy. But now that you have the psychoscope, you can the go in here. Psychoscope required beyond this point. Okay, I want that. I'll just eat something. Om nom. Hello, me medic. Scan you. Research complete. You can learn all the weaknesses of enemies. Electric M EMP melee, explosive melee. Detours. All right, Morgan. I know I can't make you stay put, but you're gonna die down there if you don't listen to me. You need to calibrate your psychoscope. Try scanning the Typhon specimens around you. Once you get enough scan data, the labs will open. More importantly, you'll be able to install Typhon-based neurons. You'll be unstoppable. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years of your life okay, making it possible. Working. Putting what they can do into us. You've just forgotten. Good. 
Sending you the code to a safe and direct to Kalstrup's office. I'm certain he's hidden neuromods there. Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. Do that. Um, maybe I'll live. You'll live, long, You'll live enough. long enough for me to see your face again. Unblock both of these windows. Um. Oh, great. Hello. Um. that I do not remember how many I am missing out on two um, quickly before thing closes five two two six scan enough Typhon organisms, you'll be able to install neuromods that are powerful, but they're the reason we're in this mess. For one thing, the station's defensive turrets will identify you as an alien threat. There might be worse consequences I can't yet see. I don't want you to lose yourself. Yeah, and if uh, you get two key cards from Dr. Kelstrom, and they go down here, you'll want to come come down here there's actually some neat stuff you'll come you'll actually want to come back here later a little bit later in the game you will come back down here you want to listen to this Calvino, what did you do to my conference room eh? what? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. yes i was uh, just about to call you all i see is a dot Yes, that's right. It's the calibration system for the new touchscreen. You only have to run it one time. Ugh, are you kidding me? Just follow the dot. When it turns green, touch it. It should... Damn it, Calvino. I do not have time to play sing-along with your bouncing ball. I'll call you back. Hans, we need to talk about Annalise Gallegos. Uh, bullets. I'm doing that. Uh, people watching, you want to prepare. You want to prepare yourselves now for this. Uh, because like prepare yourself for scare. I know what's coming. Boo! One last time. Boo! And then there's a phantom that's gonna come down the stairs. Shoot! Scan them while you're at it. And that is complete scan data of the Phantom. And these screens are forever broken. That noise is actually fucking annoying. Excuse me, excuse my language. My bad. Oh yes, the door is broken. Um. Boop. Boop. Open the door. Wait, I heard... Did a mimic come in here? Or no, they're still above me. But now you can enter here. Hello, Doc. I'll show around the main rooms back here. Oh, how many of those spare parts do I have? I have, I need one more and I can fix that electric thing in that room. 
Science operator. Heal me, actually. The stairs here are destroyed. Hello. You want to go to the lab B stairs because, as you heard earlier, there are mimics up. Like I said earlier, there are mimics up here. I'm going to deal with this room completely off screen because I doubt people want to watch me spend an hour in this room. Grabbing every single note off of these shelves. Um, stuff that is its own item. Ow. Oh yeah, I forgot to scan it. Oh, so... Uh, there's a phantom in here. Where? Oh, through the window. Whoop. Oh, he... Thank you, fire! New best friend. Whoop. Do do do, where'd corpse go? Uh, another mimic. Uh, what? Where's that phantom? Oh, it's a phantom! So quick. How many? I got enough repair kits to repair the thing down here. I'll do that quickly. Boom. I'm going to do this. So I can walk in here safely. Yay. And now I'll do, do this. Brain pills. See? Brain pills. I'm not crazy. I even asked my dad about that, and he thinks that is really bizarre. Oh, I have enough Nero mods now. I can get stamina. Or no, I'm going to get this first. Because I need to put on more things. I need this. Those critical damage ones are helpful. Really helpful. And then I'll get you. I have enough Neuromod. I have enough exotic material and other materials that I can make the Neuromod the amount of Neuromod needed to get me the stamina. Okay, here we go. That's it. Bloop. And. My stamina boost. Now this is the point where you can go off and get all of the Typhon abilities if you wish. I just choose not to use them. Cause as far as um as far as I'm aware, there there are multiple endings to this game. As you saw, there's the one Hello, Dr. Uh, uh who is December. That even though it says it's a side quest, that is actually its own ending. That is the escaping Talos 1 by yourself route. There's the blowing up Talos 1 route. The one that they're saying you should do. And then there's the uh, a third route, which I'm not going to spoil, but it's essentially the help Alex route. Hello, Dr. But yeah. I will show you these next few rooms, and then when I get over there, all this stuff. Take a good look. Oh yeah. Everything happening on Talos the next new Tyson. So the Weaver. My mistake was a great with the center of the tests. That's when you began to drift away from me. We're close to understanding what they're after. What they're building. Just need a little more time. The Weaver is a very, uh, to me, a particularly annoying enemy. <laughs> oh, also, 
When you fully research an enemy, you get what are called Morgan's Notes. You, and Morgan's notes only appear when some when you've done complete research on a uh, particular mo particular type. And as you can see, I don't have Morgan's notes for the Weaver yet because I don't have all the research for the Weaver. Psycho Shock is a one of the attacks that you can get from the Typhon. No Wave is the particular. Is this thing the no way transmitter? I find that helpful. Should I change position? Yes, get out of my way, you stupid operator. Oh, you want to do this first one, and then the rest will come first into a group. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. I was almost dead. I survived though. Loot all the corpses. Uh, all Typhon, as you saw with the Phantom earlier, that I uh, happen to just put on fire. Typhon are not immune to fire. <laughs> this is a weapons closet. You can't get in here if you do that button, but it's a very tiny hole. I would not recommend it. You can come in here, though, and meet a human. Hey! Hey! You can here. scan him. He's one of the volunteers. What, you need guns? Ammo? I saw one of them science types going to that armory. Saw him punching the code. Uh, you get me out of here. I'll let you have it. M M Aaron Ingram. Hey. What are you reading? I'll let him A talk. rap sheet, huh? Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a stack of lies meant to make pushing that button easier on you. Okay, fine. Listen. I want to be honest. Some of it probably is true. I done some wrong in my days, but this ain't right now. Come on, y'all got to let me out of here. You don't... I would not recommend I killing I never did anything to those kids. I was just getting them out of a bad spot, that's all. Now, the real criminals, they didn't like how I was chipping away at their pile of rubles. They got their claws sunk deep in the government. Got me shipped off to the gulag. That's how I ended up here, see? Open this door I if you want to show compassion. I know my two dead crickets, but nobody deserves this. Yes. Not, I agree with him. No one deserves this. I'm going empathetic route and letting him now out. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. I'm going to let him walk out here. Now you're the one person that showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. Well, if you still want that code, it's 8714. Thank you. Listen, you running any other fellas wearing a green jumpsuit? Watch your ass. Well, they ain't all decent human beings like me. Now what he's going to say next is actually a clue for something later. I seen one of the other volunteers come through here. A big guy. The bastard wouldn't let me out. Now I'm glad he didn't. Watched him bash some poor sucker's head in with a wrench. Kept going on and on about black eggs and whatnot. Real disturbing. You want to remember that thing he said about black eggs. Because there is a character you'll meet that says it. But the volunteer he's talking about is a volunteer. I don't, I actually don't know his number, but I do know his real name. It's Luca or Lucas. And no, you'll meet him later. Here. He's a real ass. Here. Oh, yeah. And that's the only time, 
curse word I am going to say meaningful because he actually is that word. What kind of mud? You sure you ain't been here before? You want? Uh, there is a. You want to take this stuff? I'm going to use that weapon upgrade kit on shotgun or no. No, I'm going to use it to increase the handling of the q -beam. q -beam is boss. Actually, I'm going to use that. Um, turn. Making sure I'm not forgetting anything in here. Nope. Take out this turret and put it right in front of here. Uh, you're supposed to go to the guts, but the guts are this way. And as you can see, it says lockdown local. Lo you're currently in the lockdown, but you want to put the turret there so when these doors open, they start shooting. I don't mean to be a nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? Um, what? Nope, I meant to. I'm headed out there as we speak. What do you think happened? Hard to say until I lay eyes on it. Could be some micrometeoroids punched a hole. Rare, but it happens. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just that. Is there something you're not telling me? No, of course not. It's just... That storage room has classified exotic materials. We really can't have it be inaccessible. Uh-huh. I understand. Things you gladly said good riddance to. Like this little miniature poodle I used to have. Ugly as sin. Little shit used to chew holes in my boots. I wonder what he's doing now. You never realize what you have until it's gone. Quite a true saying. I, in middle school, was kind of picked on by my entire class, and they, well, they, they came out and admit, like, five years later when I re-met them at a, uh, birthday party, they just came out and said, yeah, we miss you, and we do admit that we made fun of you because you were easy to get on the nerves of. And I admit, like, when I left, I kind of did miss them too. But not for the same reasons as them. It was just, like, I could have been much nicer to them. But the fact that they were willing to outright admit that they were harsh to me shows that they actually did care for me. And they treat me a lot nicer now that that happened. Oh, yeah, to break down the lockdown and get over to the guts... You'll want to go this way and still grab a lot, grab everything you can over here. And look at items. You'll want to put the thing on here. Oh yeah, engineer. This. The scientists here were in the middle of some <laughs> Access to the gut is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon, but this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't seem to even see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Not like you. Live exam procedure in progress. Local lockdown in effect until procedure terminates. Yeah, uh, you want this can this actually can be pretty disturbing. Watch what happens. You'll see what happens when I open. We're going to expose the man here, this dead man, to the weaver. You want to get over here? And you got a voltaic phantom! Now with that closed, shoot him. Warning, examination theater compromised. Uh, yeah. Uh, can I do this? Ow! I'm stuck! What was I stuck on? I got stuck on something! 
What just happened? I actually got stuck on something and I have no idea. Nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? Um, let me... Oh, for God's sake, it put me all the way back here. I, I should have said... As we speak. What do you think happened? Hard to say until I lay eyes on it. Could be some micrometeoroids punched a hole. Rare, but it happens. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just I'm that. going to do something cool. Is there something you're not telling me? No, of course not. It's just that storage room has classified exotic materials. We really can't have it be inaccessible. I wish you would shut up already. Uh, I understand. Oh, yeah. Um, what you saw me do, I held the run button and then press crouch and I do a slide. It's good for moments like that where I just need to go somewhere like that. And that and that looks cool. I'll be quick about this. You saw me do this before. You can skip ahead by like one or two minutes. Back to where I am at the thing. Just give me a sec. Note to self. Before doing that, I will say this time. I should have done that, but I didn't think I would get stuck on something. I couldn't even see what I was stuck on. Stuck again. Hello, Doctor. This way. So here. Give me a quick second there. I was we go. afraid of this. The scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the gut is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon, but this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no <gasps> wait, speech wait, of their wait, own. Wait. Yes. That's a good ship. That makes scanning all the enemy, all Language. this stuff here, a lot quicker. They don't seem to even see us. Not like we see ourselves. I mean, and do this. I'm generalizing when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Not like you. And do that. Long exam procedure in progress. Reporting. Examination theater compromised. <laughs> People are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. You know what we discovered? They lack mirror neurons. For all their wonderful abilities, there's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. Yep, that's the. That is sort of, I guess, the irony of this whole situation. They just cannot. Oh my god, wait, where'd that. Now, can you scan. There's a type in right in front of me. Which I just killed. Oh, not that thing explodes. Vital signs critical. I was going to do that because I was going to die otherwise. And I'm going to save again. So I don't have to repeat stick. I caught myself. Oh yeah. I came down here because if you remember I have a side quest to go into the morgue. I'm an idiot. Oh, of course, I feel that way too, half of my top, half of my life. Now, there are two ways to get into the morgue. Uh, the obvious one I showed earlier, you could just simply, uh, use the bolt caster to open the door from out here. Or you can go the other route, which is there's a, oper there's a engineering operator that comes here once an hour. This game has physical in-game time 
if you look at the computer, it, can, it says what time it is. And every hour, uh, operator comes down here into the morgue and opens the door. I forget the name of the operator. But there is another way to uh, get in here. That doesn't involve waiting around for that stupid operator. Which is you take out the bolt caster like earlier and you shoot the door button. God di There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, poor this Bellamy. This isn't the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating. But Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies, hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. Yes, and you just, and I just, and now we have two more neuromods we can use. We have a grand total of three, and we can buy more stuff. If you want, you can get a Typhon ability. I'm not going to use that, because like they said, actually, I might use this, get this now. It will be helpful in the future to be able to take them down that way. And now I got Morgan's notes on Im on the Mimic. Imitation power seems limited to objects roughly the mass of the Mimic itself. So, yes. There are some rooms, like with the jammed up doors, if you turn into, like use the Mimic ability and turn into a small enough object, you can go through the holes. However, I just, I don't ever do that for some reason. I just never feel the need I don't feel like I need the Typhon powers in order to beat this game. I've already beaten it twice without Typhon powers. And yes, I've only beaten this game twice. So the ending, I don't really know what I'm doing for the ending half of this game. Stay excited, people. You'll get to see me be an idiot for the la- That was something I could use, I'm pretty sure, that noise. Or no, it was not. Where that noise was used. But yes. And with that, we can now go here. And I can lead you to the guts now. And you're at, and now we're at the entrance to the guts. Eradicator auto turrets. Transtar's last ditch defense against an outbreak. Flimsy. But they're easy to fabricate. Best part is the built in psychoscope tech. They can discriminate between alien and human targets. Shouldn't be a problem for you, since you're not an alien. Oh, yeah, the grounding resistor is an item you need for a room in another area. But that's later. Um. Before I end this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, open up this door, which is deal with the hull breach outside. And to do that, uh, you need to go to an airlock to get to the outside, uh, obviously. However, right now, it's telling me to go back to the hardware labs. However, this area, Psychotronics, has its own airlock, which is... Right here. Actually, wait, I haven't shown this half of the place yet. So. Oh, yeah, there's Typhons in here. I'm going to beat you with nothing but my wrench. There's wrench power. Hey. I just. Um, I forget. I don't know where it's going to put me. Oh, yeah, it's going to put me right back in the. Morg, I think. Or no, this it's the first time a Typhon organism has broken yep. containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating. But Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies, 
Hiding the plan for your arming key. Uh, quickly doing this. Suit repairs. Let me just quickly organize everything. I swear to God, I don't usually die this well. I just haven't been paying attention to my me to my health. Yes, Repair suit. The January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. Um, now I'm going to go back up to the guts and save, and then actually first, I'm going to show you how to deal with the hull breach, and that involves going outside. So first, you'll want to go up, I'll show you what I was going to show you, and now save, before I die again. I saw that this time. Ah! Um, which one? Nope. I don't think I have the stuff to deal with. Let me put out the damn fire. Oh yeah, this is where the Typhon is. Oh god for sake. Oh yeah, more than mods. I heard that. There's oh yeah, there's a Typhon beyond this door. Uh in the comments section actually, if you know how to open this if you're watching this and you know how to open this door, please tell me. Cause that is something I would love to know how to do. There's a mimic. Oh yeah, it's the mimic right behind this door. Um, that thing. I think I have, I have five mods. Uh, let's see. I can hear. Actually, improving combat focus actually would probably be good. Because it improves damage. And you move much faster. Now you'll want to quickly do this. There's a greater mimic in here. All specimens required. Do 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 do. <laughs> Morph ability. Do 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 do. I'll take that. Deploy no wave. Looking at emails. Do, 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 do. Actually, go in here, Alex says something. Isn't it fascinating? There's something almost angelic about those gold filaments like frozen light. The typhoon weave it out of thin air. The question is why? We have a lot of theories, but no solid answers. Not yet. I wish you were with me, Morgan. Not the way you are now. The way you used to be. I know we could tackle this together. Like old times. That is a constant re... A line they constantly reuse. Oh yeah, you can open the door. This door again. And take that. This is, uh, ties in more in about the story of what we now game. know the Typhon are capable of. And not capable of. It seems prudent to revisit the Project Cobalt material. Igor? Neuromods can already adapt Typhon material to the human mind. There's no reason in principle the reverse wouldn't work. Say you manage to insert human neurons into a Typhon. How will you know it was successful? The new neural structures would need to mature over a series of actual experiences. Or simulated ones. What? Simulate the experiences. Calvino. He has... Right, okay, look. It's fascinating, but let's focus on what we know is working. I don't want anyone devoting resources to this. 
Oh yeah, where's Hello. the medic operator? Medic! I need a medic operator actually right now because I don't have the item needed to heal this burn trauma right now. Quickly do this, get back upstairs. I don't need all of Now get qu quickly do this, get back upstairs and I'll do the thing. And then that will be it for today. Only been... Now it's telling you to go out and around, but now that you unlock this, you can actually exit here. Oh yeah, hello. Where'd the Typhon corpse go? Nah, I don't. Okay, I don't much care. Now you want to go out to the exterior to fix that room. Sorry, I was texting a friend, uh, thing. Morgan, I've been wondering if it might be bothering you that you planned your own death. It's a lot to swallow. My advice would be, try not to think about the end. Focus on what's in front of you, one step at a time. I'm here, if you need help. To fix the whole breach, you just need to use the glue gun. That simple. And now the door, and now that door is fixed, and there's the guy that said he was going to fix that. Now back in there and doing, and into that one room. And then to the A labs, you've only seen the B labs. And then off screen, I'll just go through all of those rooms and get all the recycle stuff. All the boring stuff that I don't think anyone wants to see repeated over and over again because it's really boring. I'm tired slightly. Do, do. Two Ingram's defenders. There is a poltergeist in here. Or there was. It's dead. Normally you would have to defeat that on your own, but I was trying to keep Aaron alive. It's showing him compassion. That is another way to show compassion. There is actually a achievement for not killing a single human being and then there's one for the opposite i don't remember if i ever said that yet i don't think i did something about this 
Instantly killing one of the mimics like that. Om nom. I think Aaron now says, what is that? What was that thing? Oh yeah. So we can do it. Scanning target, no type of material detected. Oh yeah, this is the way I got it. Star's last ditch defense against an outbreak. Flimsy. But they're easy to fabricate. Best part is the built in psychoscope tech. They can discriminate between alien and human targets. Shouldn't be a problem for you, since you're not an alien. I'm doing things quickly. Do, 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 do. I have found, besides that, that upgrading the disruptor stun gun and the other th and the Q beam, actually to be the most important because they can be the most helpful. Oh yeah, quickly climb this if the game will let me. Darn it! There's a secret up there that I can show if I can just jump that correct. Jump that right. Darn it! I'm going to have to put some extra glue down so that I can make that jump. But it is possible. Oh no. Or that happened. Darn it, I didn't even jump, it just Nothing. leaped, I just leaped off. I didn't even get to jump. I didn't even jump, what just happened? Let me in. I will make this jump, I swear to God. Hello. Let me up here, game. Oh my God, that is making me infuriate. Open the door. That actually has me quite mad now. I can make this stupid jump. Um, quickly, right there. Yeah, none of them get to even exist for that long. I don't think there's really anything useful up here. I don't remember, but I'll look. I think the most useful thing that was up, useful things that were up here were those mimics. Oh, some shotgun bullets, shells. I mean. Oh yeah, you want to go this side? Yeah, because I haven't been over here really. Now, want to be actually careful. That room. Um, if I can read what's actually on the note here. There are mimics in this room. Which is why the window is blocked. So. Actually, wait. This might be a good time to... Use that, because I never use it!
You want to listen to this? It's for a side Hello, quest. Dr. Kelstra? I wanted to follow up on my request to view one of the volunteer abdication contracts. <sighs> Anna, you're supposed to be off today. I had some free time, so I thought... I've already told you, the VACs are sealed documents. My hands are tied. But isn't there some allowance for the researchers? I mean, my god, I'm the one pushing the button. Look, I understand. I really do. They wouldn't be human if this was easy. They just want to be sure. Believe me, everything we've done is perfectly legal. That's because Talos 1 is in extranational space. There are no laws. Anna, you're tired. It's affecting your judgment. Now, I've tolerated it for a while, but enough is enough. You need to take some time, understood? Yes, Dr. Kelstrom. I understand. Good. Oh, look, you've made me late for a meeting with Alex. Now, listen to this. You sure about this? Not too late to flush it all out in airlock, you know. I'm sure. Are you having second thoughts? No way. I'm in. It's just... I'm not the one incriminating myself. There's no happy answer. Either way. I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. Did you make arrangements? Mitchell's on board. He's gonna bring me food. I don't need to know the details. Better that way. It has to happen on your next rotation. I put everything in a package labeled Mementos. The package is in my cabin. It's got to go to every media outlet imaginable. Got it. And Quinton, be careful. Security is already scrutinizing me more than usual. Yep. And that is pretty much it for Psychotronics. Um, I'll end it off here because all I've got left is just going through these rooms and picking up a bunch of a bunch of crap to recycle. And no one wants to watch me spend another 20 minutes doing that. So, yeah, uh, thanks everyone for watching this video. If for watching, if you enjoyed this video, why not li like make uh, like the video and comment and if you really enjoyed the content why not give me a subscribe it would be nice to get a subs for a new people to subscribe channel but like I've said I'm not forcing it on anyone I don't control anyone's being so yeah that's it for now and Schmidler out